You are watching this video because you need to fix a weak concentration while you top up your coolant tank. You've pulled the tank out, removed the covers, and checked the cleanliness and level of your coolant. The good news is the coolant in this tank is clean and deionized water has been used during top up as the coolant log shows, so there's no need to check chemistry at this point. Double check the concentration with the refractometer. Check out the Tools of Coolant video for information about this essential tool. This concentration is at 3%, confirming that this coolant is lean. Our goal is to get this coolant to a concentration range between 6 and 10%, where coolant performs correctly. Let's fix this low concentration 55 gallon tank. First, measure the coolant level in your tank. We get 2 and 3 quarter inches. When the Haas 55 gallon tank is full, the coolant level reaches 7 inches. So at half full, the level is 3 and a half inches. Our rule is, if the coolant level is over 3 and a half inches, add 2 and a half gallons of concentrate. If the coolant level is under 3 and a half inches, add 3 gallons of concentrate. Our measurement is under 3 and a half inches. We need 3 gallons of concentrate. Now we know how much concentrate to add, but we can't just dump it in the tank. You have to mix it with water before adding it. When manually mixing concentrate with water, we always use a 4 to 1 water to concentrate ratio. Most coolants mix readily at 4 to 1. Check with your coolant supplier to be sure. We use a graduated bucket that we made with some simple measurements and start by pouring in 4 gallons of deionized water. You might ask, why do I need to use deionized water to top up my tank? Can't I just use tap water instead? Over time, the water in the coolant evaporates away. But if tap water is used, the hard minerals in the water do not evaporate. Each time you top up the tank with tap water, a new batch of minerals is added to the mixture. After a few rounds of this evaporate and top up cycle, well, you've got a tank packed with minerals and your coolant may be ruined. We don't want to make that mistake, so we start with deionized water in the bucket. Then we add one gallon of concentrate. Mix the concentrate into the water thoroughly. Remember to always add the water first and then add the concentrate, and never the other way around. Here is a visual demonstration of mixing both the right and wrong way. On the left is the correct sequence, where concentrate is poured into water. You can see how easily the concentrate disperses. On the right, we start with concentrate in the container. This is incorrect. As the water is poured in, you can see that it tends to clump together separately from the concentrate. Although this abnormal concentration is purely for demonstration purposes, we see nonetheless that the water doesn't mix readily into the concentrate. With everything mixed together in the proper order, empty the bucket into the tank and mix it with the existing coolant. We'll mix a total of three buckets, each with four gallons of water and one gallon of concentrate. With the three mixed buckets added, all the concentrate we need is now in the tank. We've added a total of 15 gallons. And since we started at less than half full, our tank isn't filled yet. We need to top off the remainder of the tank. At this point, you might think we'd recommend that you just finish filling the tank with plain water. But when you add water to some mixed coolants, it may not emulsify correctly. So, we will take the safest path and top off our tank with a low concentration mixture. To do this, we'll make 1% buckets by mixing 7 ounces of concentrate into each 5 gallon bucket of deionized water we add to the tank. Using the 1% buckets will ensure that everything mixes uniformly as we finish filling the tank. When the tank is full and you've mixed everything together, check to be sure the concentration is correct. 
Our refractometer reading is right at 7.5% bricks, meaning the actual concentration is also 7.5%, in the middle of our target 6 to 10% range. Run the coolant system for 30 minutes to give the coolant a final complete mix.